I guess to people that may have watched the news and, and, and they saw all this, you know, big thing going on with you and, you know, Miss Juanita Bynum and, and, and saying, you know, who, who wants to date him? Who, who would want to date somebody that's been in the news for something such as, you know, fighting women? I mean, have you been getting the bad emails or, you know, the, the, the dirty talk or, you we know, people some, feeling bad about the way you left the relationship? we got some great haters. i got some people that really hate me. And they don't say we got people that really love me. Mm -hmm. And so you got to deal with both of them. And I love my haters. They, they sharpen the focus, the saw of discussion. Mm -hmm. And you need them to be able to give the counterbalance to how people perceive. More importantly, I think that um, what was put out there, uh, was a snippet of the fraction of the truth. So you have to just let it all be what it is. Mm -hmm. People that know me know that, hey, first of all, anybody married knows stuff happens, right? right? right. And through it, you know, da -da -da -da. But just to say the least, I'm glad that um, things have kind of just mellowed out. The church is growing. I'm being celebrated all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I think if people took a good look at it, they would understand that there was a lot more to it than said. Wow. Now, a lot of people, you know, when they go through separations and divorce and everything, you know, and they, before they get into another relationship, say, people say, you know, you need to take time and heal yourself before you jump into another relationship. And now, y'all divorce was just, you know, finalized, like in June. So, and I read somewhere where you say that you really are hurt behind a lot of things that happened during the divorce. So, are you really ready to get into another relationship? Are you ready? I don't think I am. 100% ready. I think I'm close to 65%. Um, I think there's still about 35% of the things, and you were never ready until you get into a relationship and some things trigger back and you have to respond and deal with the responsibilities of being accountable for somebody else's emotions towards you. While you're single, that's not there. As being a counselor for several years, you know when you need counseling. So I've been in counseling for um, several months concerning just the emotion of the crisis and what most people don't recognize any time a negative event happens in your life that was not planned, of course it wasn't, or desired. It's a crisis mode, whether it's for an hour, right, right. or a month, or a year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us bury those emotions because, oh, I got through it, I'm over it, thank God I'm done with it. But then it rises back oh, up later on when you come back. So in this forum, we begin to discuss about the process of trying to be whole and heal. Now, what most people don't account for is that I was separated 13 months before the divorce. So mm -hmm. I had a lot of time to process a lot right, of things. So, right, you know, right. add four more months onto that, that's almost, you know, 16, 17 months of being single separated and now divorced. So that's a little bit of time to kind of work through it. Mm -hmm. So All somewhere right. down the future we'll get back to, you know, dealing with the other 35%. And it just don't